Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Carry the four. And there it is. I finally programmed you to stock boxes. And power on. Um. Traditional industrial robots require complex user interfaces for selecting programs, jogging axes, and teaching positions. ABB's App Studio is a no-code programming tool designed to simplify robot interface creation for industrial applications. App Studio addresses the interface challenge by enabling users to design custom interfaces for ABB robots using the Omnicore controller. Coming up, we'll dive into this cutting-edge app and how it could make the life of an engineer much easier. But first, let's check out our premier product spotlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Advantech EKI2728 is a gigabyte Ethernet switch with a 12 to 48 volts DC redundant power input. It features power polarity reverse protection and an overload current fuse for reliability. Each port has dual LEDs for link status, speed, and collision monitoring. A built-in relay output triggers an event alarm during power failures with an LED indicator for quick troubleshooting. Housed in a compact IP30 rated metal enclosure, the Advantech EKI2728 is designed for durability in industrial environments. To learn more, head over to mauser.com today or click the link in the description below. Staying educated in control automation builds roads of opportunity. That's why we present David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. Understanding how networking works for computers is a little intimidating to a lot of control engineers where they're used to field device wiring, and especially since there's a few different ways that these networks can be connected. So let me explain a couple of them and explain why one of them is really important for redundancy and reliability in systems. So the first one we're gonna talk about is what's called a star topology. And star topology is where we have a central device, a network switch or a router, and everything is connected off of that switch or router. And each one of these devices has a connection back to the central controller or to any other system, say a server or a cloud system. And as we connect each one of our devices, it would come online and communicate through that network switch. So each one of the devices comes back to the network switch. Again, this is called star topology. And if we think about a star, it's a central piece with a bunch of lines coming out of it. That's typically how we draw a star. This is a great system, lots of ports on our switch to be able to connect everything. But what happens if there's one failure in a cable somewhere? One wire comes loose, and all of a sudden we've lost a part of our critical control system. That's not great for redundancy, so let's look at another type of topology. The other type of topology is what we call ring. Now, ring topology is very important in the control and the remote I.O. system, because if anything is to lose communication, we certainly hope it's not our controller. So as before, we have one connection from the switch to our controller, and then we have a connection from the controller to the remote I.O. devices. And very often these remote I.O. devices, just like this one, will have two Ethernet ports. You can buy controllers with one Ethernet port or two, and this is one of the benefits of two connections. Now, from this second connection, we can return back to the original network switch. So our signal comes out from the switch to the controller to all the other devices, and then returns back to the network in a big loop. That's why they call it ring. Now let's see what happens if one of these cables gets disconnected, jostled, broken, and we lose the signal. But it's okay because we still have a route that's connecting all of our devices together, giving us that extra protection and redundancy. Now on the downside of that, we used an extra set of connections on our original switch, but the larger our system gets, we connect more and more devices, and we find that we're actually using fewer network connections on our switch. So that's the difference between ring and star. Star is a much more typical network where everything is connected back to a central point, 
easy for organization and finding all of our signals, but it's not so great for reliability, where if we lose one signal, this ring level topology allows us redundancy, and if a wire breaks, we still have a solid connection route between all of our devices. We can find that broken cable, and we can repair that or replace that broken cable without losing our entire network. Andy, back to you. Thank you, David. App Studio is a really cool and smart app. It features an intuitive drag and drop interface, eliminating the need for coding knowledge. Users can access a cloud-based library of pre-configured interfaces, which can be deployed within minutes. Additionally, the software allows remote access from tablets and smartphones, enhancing maintenance, debugging, and support capabilities. Advanced users can further customize interfaces using JavaScript for greater flexibility. For manufacturers with limited programming expertise, App Studio provides a practical solution to automate tasks without requiring extensive coding knowledge. But what's really helpful is by making industrial robotics more accessible, ABB empowers smaller manufacturers and integrators to implement high-performance automation without the complexities of traditional programming. More access is always welcome when it comes to innovation. Hey, that does it for us. Be sure to click the link on your screen to stay updated on the latest in control automation, and we'll see you next time.